So many people ask, what is the best thing that you can do with the Iris Vision? Well, it's, it's very versatile. Um, it's being able to think, see things close up, at intermediate distances, and at, at far distances. One of the things that's difficult in low vision is those intermediate distances as there's uh, very little magnification that can be done farther away from your eyes. So people who play cards, for instance, we had a person who was playing bridge and being able to uh, use the bioptic mode by looking at the whole table and seeing everybody's hand and then by turning and zooming in on uh, a specific row of cards to be able to read those. Uh, music is another thing that's difficult in the intermediate but the artist's vision is really good at. I worked with a gentleman who had tried other wearable devices and he was able to zoom in on one line of music but he told me that he plays the organ and on organ music he said the top line is the right hand and the next line down was the left hand and the next line down was the pedals and so he couldn't use any of the other devices because he was only able to see one line with the iris he was able to zoom in at a, a good intermediate distance from the organ music and being able to see he actually said he saw four lines at one time uh, so he was just thrilled in being able to to use that. The iris vision of course works great for seeing faces and talk, talking with people and being able to interact with people. Uh, many people want to be able to watch television and the iris vision works really well for TV. Uh, I've experimented with different televisions, different distances, and different sizes of TVs. And there is some, uh, quite a bit of variation and so you might want to think of it as a, a little experiment to be able to uh, try uh, different distances. So for instance, at 10 feet away, I have a very large television. I was able to read everything on the screen, but it looked a little fuzzy. Uh, where When I went, moved into uh, the den where I have a 32 inch TV, and I was sitting a little bit closer, maybe six feet away, it was the picture was spectacular. So um, what I did is I went to the local retailer and actually experimented with that. I stood uh, next to some of the new TVs that have 4K, for instance. The picture was spectacular. Some of these TVs really are not that uh, expensive nowadays. So uh, remember to kind of think about that. This, this is a camera and it's looking at a screen. And so, uh, experiment. Also, in one situation, I went to a person's home and the TV looked completely washed out because we realized later the, the reflection that was coming from over my shoulder. So, all we had to do is simply either tilt the chair a little bit or we actually tilted his TV just slightly enough to where the reflection went instead of directly into the camera, away from the camera and the picture came out perfectly. Uh, that could be true also on a, maybe a computer screen, depending on what else is in the room, what other windows are there for reflection and so forth. Um, so think about that, just remember, try to, to tilt it uh, just slightly. Also using uh, an iPad or persons that want to be able to see their smartphone, uh, it works very, very well, as I was uh, saying before, when uh, using the something like a smartphone to be able to zoom in at a normal distance and be able to see the text. And then if you get to something that's light blue and hard to see, just bring it right up close to the camera and uh, you'll be able to uh, see the magnification without always having to, to swipe to see things uh, like that. One of the things that I noticed in working with people's homes is uh, in so many situations people have pretty good lighting in the kitchen but uh, their living room especially in the evening can be very very dark. I would say that's almost like the number one thing that is uh, difficult because this is a camera it does need a little bit of light. Now you will notice when you put the iris vision on 
it will illuminate the room quite a bit. It's very, very bright. It actually, one gentleman told me that, that the main thing that helps him is brightness. And when he put the iris vision on, he, uh, he needed about four or five X magnification, but he said everything was so bright that he could see it so well. So think about that. If you have a, a living room, maybe you don't have a good general room light or a lamp with a, uh, with a three-way bulb or something that would illuminate things in the, in the room, that's an important consideration when using the iris vision.